Hi, so welcome to the sequel to uh, this madness. Because boy howdy, did that video spark some interest in dead internet theory. We. <laughs> so when it came to the last video, I noticed one of the most common uh, responses to it was like, well, that's just X and you know, X is, you know, it. <laughs> Come on, man, it's X. It's gonna have a bunch of those. And you're right, it, like the whole reason that even is a thing is because the way the verification stamp works, as long as you pay for the monthly subscription, you have a chance of gaining ad revenue through engagement. So the more the robots engage, the more money they collect. It's a whole mining system. I could, if I was like a drama YouTuber, I probably would like deep dive into that. But I'm the funny voice man. I read the funny voice things. If you want to watch somebody who's really good at doing deep dives like this and analyzing things, I highly recommend 16 Leo, very underrated YouTuber. Go check him out. Good stuff. Love you, Leo. The other one was, well, you will only see those things if you go looking for them. And once again, you're right. But I think it's also important to realize that sometimes you do have to go looking for it so you can figure out sometimes if posts that seem just a little off to you are actually done by a person or AI. But yeah, let's dig into this further, and no better place to start than the article I mentioned in the last video. The What is the Dead Internet Theory by Danny DiPlacido at Forbes. And by the way, Danny does some amazing stuff. You could check out their uh, stuff on Twitter and Forbes as well. Great writer. Love what they do. Let's start with good old Amazon. You know, that shopping website everyone says they shouldn't be using, but use it anyway. I'm sorry, but I cannot fulfill this request. It goes against open AI use policy. Black. $1,600! Apologies, but I am unable to assist with this request. It goes against open AI use policy and encourages $943.79 for a chair that folds. And here's a few more. I apologize, but I cannot generate the analysis you're requesting. Brown! I apologize, but I cannot help with that request. Cream! I apologize, but I cannot provide a specific analysis and generate a new product title without just six dollars and ten cents for two doilies. That's 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 the money. Nature's vagina calendars, 2024 to 2025. I apologize, but I cannot assist with generating a sign. This was made by somebody. Their name's right there. <laughs> I can probably guarantee that the name is fake too. And these just look like AI generated images. The semi nice thing about this though is Amazon, I think actually fixed this because I tried typing these in myself and I didn't get any results. But to say that it didn't happen before, that I'm just gonna put this image up. I don't even wanna read it. I just wanna prove a point that you could have had typed this in and gotten these results. And look at those fucking chairs. <laughs> Tell me six of those chairs cost $2,000. Get the fuck out of here. Now the comment is, is, well, you would be smart enough to know that those are probably fake items you're not going to get if they're just being procedurally generated like that. That is true. But what you're also not taking into account of is maybe the listings that were able to get it right. I mean, that's the whole point of the AI system, is it not? It's supposed to get bigger and better with the more things you, you feed it. That's why the art AI thing was kind of a big fucking problem. And I could, I could do a whole rant on that because I, you know, apart from the voice acting stuff, I also do art, I do music. I'm in like so many fields that AI is fucking finagling itself into and I don't like it. But anyway, I digress. If you're wondering about a situation where maybe one of these fake AI things got away with this, we can look no other than this lovely post from Tumblr. My sister got a book for Christmas on how to care for tarantulas alongside the tarantula supplies. She's wanted one since she was eight and she's 15 now. And basically it appears to have been written by an AI. She realized quickly that the book was riddled with errors, repetitive and badly written. And after some investigation found that it was self-published using a website that offers AI tools to help you write your book. Now, of course, this is the internet and you could say, well, where's the proof in that? I wanna see pictures and everything, but can we just take this at face value for a second? With all the other AI shenanigans we've seen, witnessed, responded to, laughed at and mocked, isn't it possible that this book does exist and almost duped this kid into taking care of the tarantula the wrong way? 
Hi, post editing Pat here, because I couldn't have Andy be subjected to this madness I'm deep diving into. So it's all been me the entire time. Just to see if I could actually find out if this book does exist, I went on Amazon and I looked up tarantula care books and I came across this one. And not only does the picture of the tarantula seem a little off, I scroll down to the review right here. Based on the reviews, it seems that what the AI system did was confuse uh, tarantula care with poodle or toy dog care. So yeah, B be mindful of what you buy. God, this is feeling more like a rant than it is supposed to be funny, and I apologize for that, but it's, it kind of goes hand in hand because that's, the, it happens, right? Sometimes a funny AI thing will happen and we'll laugh our ass off and it's like, well, maybe it's not so bad because, you know, those stupid fucking things like this one. Water is in ingredients. Deep stuff. And it also gets really funny on a site that is definitely plagued with the dead internet theory. Facebook, you know, the thing that you keep so your grandparents can talk to you because they're not using anything else? Why are grounding wires not insulated? You ready for this one? <sighs> good conductivity, 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 good conductivity. You know, you gotta feel bad for Robin Schultz. Didn't get a single like on this. Damon got a heart, that's pretty impressive. And then like, they'll just post shit that's kind of pretty gruesome to say for reactions on Facebook, like MNN dead announcement sends internet into meltdown. Like, who, who said this? No one said this, he's still alive. Also, there's something very unsettling about that image. Let me just check. Just pop that into searches and uh... <laughs> it's a smoothed out version of this image from Entertainment Weekly's 2003 article of 8 Mile. <laughs> the yesified poor martial matters. But you know, it really, it, it, it all depends on how you feel about this situation, right? Like it's very apparent that it's, you know, becoming more of a frequent issue, but you still have to look out for it, right? You still have to deep dive to find these things. But at what point does the deep dive become just a shallow walk until you realize most of the things you're seeing on your favorite social media sites aren't real. It's even becoming an issue on YouTube. Like you've guys seen it. You've seen like the avatar of just someone's ass asking like the most insightful questions and then you realize their account is fake as fuck. And it's amusing when shit like that happens and they respond to almost borderline AI generated videos, like the movie cap reviews that are just done in an AI voice. And I wanna end this video by just saying that I didn't do this as a negative thing. I did it more as an awareness that you just gotta look out for this stuff and be careful because it's so easy these days to get tricked on the internet. And believe me, I've been on it since I was 10. I'm 33 now. It's 23 years of this shit being ingrained into my fucking brain. It's so much easier to point out shit that that's, that's fake when you've been on it for so long. But when you're fresh faced to this or just how well versed it can get, yeah, you gotta play that game of, is this someone doing a bit or is it just someone that's using a machine to get money out of you? But how I'm actually gonna end this video is with this post from Pokemon. Ogre Pin's attributes, including its ability and type, will change depending on which mask it puts on. Which of Ogre Pin's four forms is your favorite? Reason behind climate change, reason for hot weather. Super, beautiful, cheers, sure, just love, better. Love, oh no, hello, yeah, yeah. That, yeag, oh no. True, pretty, windows, yeag. Oh so pretty, gorgeous, goddess. Reason behind global warming, windows. Window. Reason for global warming, princess, yeah, yes. Windows, yeah, yep. Yeah, sure, sure is passionate about digital and intrigued by crypto, all right? This is tall. A real person, I swear to God. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching or listening or just having me in the background while you do stuff or you know you're you're eating food, whatever time it is that you decide to watch this. I personally pick breakfast to watch YouTube videos. If I had like a final thought I had about what I would think about the dead internet theory, I don't really think it's entirely legitimate but it is kind of scary how 
baffling the internet is, right? Like, yeah, we picked a few websites, but that doesn't count for the entire map of the internet. But it is also, like, the most heavily foot-trafficked websites. Where bots usually like to roam around and try to scam people. I feel like what really, how I feel about this is I wished AI was just in the hands of people that knew how to use it. I think when it became more open sourced, it became a problem. Because it didn't become what it was supposed to be. Like, I felt like if it was a tool that just truly assisted us in, like, writing, if it gave us a prompt or caught us in, like, loopholes or even in painting, like, if you need an idea of how to do a forest background, it can help you, but at the same time, you don't learn fully from it. You might get a general idea of like how a forest background is supposed to be, but you, we as humans love to challenge ourselves. We love to test ourselves. If something is just built like this to cut every possible corner so that there's no more challenge in our creativity, we don't learn and we don't grow from it. Just like any tool, in the hands of a creative mind, it could do some amazing things. In the hand of someone who just wants to collect a paycheck, it's complete and utter shit.